Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun DIY organization video for you. I have found some space that I hadn't realized would be a great organization area and I set out to make it fit my needs. Now I am standing here in my laundry nook area and this is a project that is not yet finished and it is one of those projects that was not planned and one of those projects that seemed to snowball out of control and just take a long time to finish by circumstances beyond our control. So comment down below if you've had one of those projects and let me know what it was and what you did to fix it. Now, farmhouses have a lot of character, but one thing they do not have is a lot of storage or closet space. Now for us, when we looked at the house, this area was a closet and I was able to put lots of shelving units in here and it made the perfect pantry. Now originally it was designed to hold a stackable washer dryer and this was the laundry area and this is actually along the wall of our dining room. And uh, I have lots of footage of the beginning of the project but I don't have footage as we've continued. But that is a long story on how uh, we actually purchased the stack of a washer dryer when it was time to move the washer dryer back up and it wouldn't fit so we had to open up the walls and in doing so I lost my pantry. Now I am one who really likes to be organized. Organization is super important for me and one of my pet peeves is getting ready to do a project and have to look around for the tools to do it. Now here, um, as I've talked about before, the basement stairs are not um, really accessible for me. They are getting uh, increasingly challenging because they were not built correctly. They were an afterthought installed in the late 90s. And uh, they were mainly just for accessibility. They weren't for being used every day. With that being said, um, putting things in the basement is uh, they're not easily accessible. We do not have a garage and our barn is located away from the house. So one of the things that I kept stored in this area were a few things that I use on a daily basis. Things like screwdrivers, tools, drills and screws, nails and hammer, um, batteries, glue gun. Multiple things that you grab when you have to fix things. And so not having them available was challenging and for months they've been stacked in piles, they've been in bins, they've been here and they've been there and finally I realized they just absolutely have to get organized. So one day when I was walking down the basement stairs I was standing at the top of the steps and I said hey you know what this is prime real estate. I think I could do some kind of storage here and so I sat out with my sketch pad and decided to make this work. And if I take five steps this way, we are at the basement landing, so everything is still close to where it used to be. So if we step right this way, we are right here at the basement door, and this is the landing where I had the idea to put in some storage. So without further ado, let's get started and I will show you the tools, uh, some of the things that I want to store in here, the area of which I had to work with, and then we'll get into the video and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, let's start with all of the things that I want a storage base for. There are a lot of them and they have been all over lately and now I'm going to bring them all together. Um, keep that sharpie in mind. So I have painting and I have glues and caulks and tape and some hand tools that are important to grab. I have my glue gun and extension cords that I want to keep close by and I have this big assortment of nails and screws always trying to grab one and keep them on hand. Um, hammers and drivers and drills and the stapler and uh, the stud finder, batteries, just so many things that you just grab and go with when you are constantly in a construction zone. So here are all of the things that need to find a home. 
And now here is this bag that is hanging on the landing door. This just had bags in it when it was in the pantry, but lately things just don't have a home, and so they've just been kind of tucked and thrown in wherever they can be. And it's gotten a little out of hand, actually, so we're very happy for this space. Now, this is our space. It's dark. It's dreary. It's very small. There is this carpet that gets very dirty. It's hard to get a vacuum in there to clean. And it also hinders the door from opening all the way. You really have to push hard to get it. I was really worried to take it up but we'll see what happens. Now, this is the space that we're talking about. There are some numbers on the wall. Disregard those, those go to another part of the project. But what I really wanna concentrate on showing you right now is this area right here, where the, the original wall was and to that back wall is nine inches deep. It's 27 wide across the back of that wall, but this little ledge here is nine inches and then we go on to this wall here that we could use and then we're looking down the basement steps now this looks like flooring but it's not the floor it is a stone wall that has been patched with mortar and that looks a little confusing but you can see the steps run right into it now we have done some work here already we have expanded the risers we actually put additional risers on each side and we've kind of dropped down the treads a little bit more but there's nothing we can do it now it smacks right into the wall we cannot move the wall the stairs aren't safe to travel a lot on, on a frequent basis so I needed to bring the storage up so the wall is a little rough and I want to go ahead and sand it down and brighten up the space so I got out the sander and I just went to town with sanding I sanded all the surfaces uh, there's different kinds of woods the woods rough it was never sanded when it was put on there the edges don't meet up all the way so I went ahead and just sanded all of the areas to prep it for paint I wanted to you know really brighten up the space and um, that's always my thing to brighten up the space and make it as nice as possible I had some big spaces like I said the wood didn't meet up so I went ahead and caulked that in and then I got out the white paint white I thought would be the best option because it's so clean and so bright and it's a dark space so I thought the white would really open it up this paint is um, Lowe's Valspar Bistro White. It is my favorite white and is in a lot of places in our home. And I had some left over, so I just went ahead and used that in this space. It took a couple of coats actually to get it to cover because that wood was so dry, it was just sucking it right up. Next, I'm installing two pieces of wood. This is for the other numbers that you've seen on the wall. I am installing some pegboard at the top of the space and this is going to be to hold some of the tools. So this was a really good idea and it came together really well. So I'm installing my pegboard and um, next I'm going to install some railing. This is the adjustable metal shelving that you find that you have the uh, adjustable brackets for this was in the pantry previously before it became the laundry nook so I just brought it over here to this landing and I um, put that on both sides and then I went in with a little q-tip and white paint because yes I'm that OCD and touched up the screws now I have my brackets and my wood I just had some wood in the barn I just chopped into these nine inch shelves and they're 9 by 27 I ended up being able to put four shelves in here and the floor yes I pulled up that carpet and lo and behold they'd put some subflooring down and I went ahead and used this flooring that I had in the barn and it makes it so much easier to clean and it does not hinder the door opening and closing and I thought it kind of, you know, I brightened up my space and it just kind of gave it the farmhouse look. So I was very happy with the way that turned out. Nice and clean and easy to take care of. So there is our space. I want to turn my attention now to the other wall. Um, I wanted to jazz this up a little bit more. And my favorite 
design technique is to put in faux shiplap. And faux shiplap is so easy. I'm doing a six inch piece of wood and I measure down six inches on each side and I'm using that flat Sharpie. Those bigger, flatter Sharpies are the perfect width. When you do shiplap, your spaces are supposed to be that of a nickel apart for each piece of wood. And this uh, marker is that nickel size. So it worked out perfectly for my faux shiplap design. Now I'm installing some pegs on my pegboard and I'm going through and hanging up the tools that I like to use the most. And this was really simple to do and just plugged in my little pieces and put my tools where I wanted them to be. And I can totally rearrange it later if I want to. I went ahead and finished filling all of my spaces on my shelves. I have my vacuum pieces, my stapler, and we'll go through and I'll show you everything. Now for the bags, I didn't want to use that bag. I didn't want to hide my shiplap. I'm going to go to Ikea and get a, an actual bag holder. So here we are. Here are all my hand tools that I use the most. Grab and go, put them right back. I can see everything. Very happy. I've got glues and tapes and my pens and pencils are in that little tray. I picked up these little bins from, I, um, not Ikea, no, they were at Menards. And I filled them with some of the nails and then I have the rest of my nails and screws and everything is here and right where I need it to be. Now this bin, I put this bin here because I didn't want clutter on the steps and I don't like to take everything down when I use it in the basement. So I can put it in here and take it all down at once. Makes it easier to do. Friends, and there you go. What are your thoughts? Do you think it came together really well? I am very happy that I have most of the things I need to grab and go and make a repair or work on a project and a place to put them back. I know exactly where they go. And even better than the previous way I had them stored, I could see exactly where everything is, reach it, grab it, put it back, and it just makes life so much better when it's efficiently stored and organized. Tell me below what was your favorite um, part of this organization thing and be sure to give it a like a thumbs up and be sure to stick around for more organization videos and be blessed be safe and i'll see you soon